Hello to the staff, welcome back to my channel and uh, today we're going to see the tutorial number two about the FMBag tutorials. So the other time we checked out how to extract the frames out of the video and put them in an image file, so at least the first n frames of a video. And this time we're going to play the video, so we're going to open an instance of player and we're going to play the video in. So um, here we have Ubuntu ready, so we're going to use uh, Visual Studio Code as uh, the other time. And uh, if you didn't do it, please like, share and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified about the next videos I'll be releasing. And now it's time to get started. Okay, here we are. So this is a Visual Studio Code and here we are with the tutorial 02. So if you would like to execute the program, so it's better to see, to take a look what the program does, we can go and compile as the other time. Here we have the build target into tutorial 02 and the launch target into tutorial 02 as well. And then we're going to compile. Here, as soon as the program is finished, so here I've already compiled it because the other time it took a lifetime. So as soon as we finish, we have the program ready. We are going to run and debug and then run with the launch task that we had before. And we should see a window appearing. Okay, so it's the debug mode is a bit slow. Okay. And uh, I see the window opening. It's a bit slow. It should be faster in your PCs. It depends on the power that you have. And by the way, you should play the video in its entirety. In this case, it takes uh, the video stream and uh, it will play it from the beginning to the end. So we don't have any controls. We don't have anything as uh, you saw. It takes the frames out of the video and it pushes them, it shoots them into the SDL interface. Cool, so now let's see the inner workings. You will see that most of the code that we are dealing with is very similar to the code that we saw the other time. In fact, uh, there are the first inclusions, AV codec, AV format and SWS scale. And we have new entries here. We have SDL and SDL thread. So what is SDL? SDL is a library uh, that is mainly used for gaming, video gaming, so to display game and uh, um, yeah, so in interface visually with uh, games. And now it's used uh, um, to render the video out uh, of this uh, window. So here, the first part of the code is identical, apart this, that is uh, the initialization of SDL. So the, let's say the, the initialization of the SDL library. In this case, we want the video, the audio, and the timer. There are also other things, joysticks, input, uh, uh, other types of output, etc. But in this case, uh, we want video, audio, and timer. Even if we don't use the audio, we want uh, the video only. Apart these uh, four lines of code, uh, uh, five lines of code, the rest is identical to what we saw the other time. So we have the initialization of the format context, so where we take the file, we open the file, we find the first video stream, and uh, we take the information out of the codec from the first video stream. We take the context and uh, we take the parameters and we put in the context, codec context. We open the stream and uh, we are going to allocate the um, frames. So here we have uh, this P frame that is the input. In this case, a frame YUV is the output frame. We can go to the SDL window. In this case, we're going to create the window itself with um, these flags, the title will be tutorial 02. You can change the name here to see what you want. For example, the name of the file. And uh, here you have uh, the width and the height of the video with also other things like uh, 
SDL windows resizable, so you can resize the window afterwards. Error if uh, it cannot be initialized for any reason. And then you have the render, so with what you're going to put in the um, window. And then you have the texture that is, uh, let's say, the canvas where you're going to fill with uh, your own frames. Uh, we have also a rectangle and event to manage the events that we have inside. In this case, we don't use it uh, full power, but uh, this is for the management of the events as soon as they are going in the window. Uh, here we have a NSWS context. If you remember from the other time, this uh, thing will be used to we used it to convert from one color space to another. Here we're going to um, let's say resize mostly. So if you need to resize the window, for example, uh, you need to have this uh, um, resizing to be done afterwards. Here we have the reading of the frames as it is. It is identical to what we saw the other time, so we are not going to uh, take that. Here, what we um, what we have here is to render to get the input frames into the output frames that they're going to be shot into um, the SDL window. Here we have the rectangle that is uh, the SDL window, and we update the texture uh, in this uh, loop that is uh, until we have frames. So here it says uh, read until we have uh, this thing. So this can be removed, I guess, because this was uh, really dealing with something that uh, I worked with before. And uh, here, okay, we have the this, uh, let's say, while until the video finishes, until we have frames, we take them and put them in the video. So here we have uh, this, okay, with this update texture. So it's going to update the canvas where we're going to see the data in with uh, this data. And then uh, we are going to update and clear, update and clear, as it should be, and then uh, the loop repeats. So we have all the frames out of the video. Then after the end, we have uh, the cleaning of everything. So we uh, remove the reference for what regards the packets, and we remove the references, and uh, we also flush, let's say, the events that are coming into SDL. If... Uh, we have uh, the quit, so the user requests the quit for any reason. We're going to quit. Otherwise, we're going to fr we're going to free everything, and the program ends. So conceptually, is very similar to what we saw the other time. There's only the introduction of SDL, so we got to see well how to work with the uh, SDL itself. So in the beginning, we have. Uh, where is it? I'm lost. Uh, okay, here we have the initialization of all SDL. Then uh, we have, uh, after that, after we initialized everything, the initialization of the window that we have inside uh, SDL. We have a render to render the canvas, uh, the, the canvas itself that is the texture inside with uh, this rectangle. And then we have this conversion just in case you need also some resizing, we have uh, this uh, SWS context that takes care of everything. And uh, we are converting from the input frames into the output frames. And then uh, we are going to update, render, and uh, um, do whatever that's uh, um, required. Okay, cool. You see that it's very elementary. We don't take care of something, you might guess what. But uh, this is a good start. So at least we have uh, our first player. So we reached the first player ever in, a, uh, um, so in our steps. Good. Okay, so we took a look at all uh, the second tutorial of the series. We are going on with the next video. So you will see there will be 
all the things to manage. So one of the thing is, for example, the timing, because we took the video and spit it into the SDL without taking care of the frame rate and all these, uh, all these things. So depending also on how fast is your video for us, it was very slow because <laughs> it was in a virtual machine, but if you had also something else, so if you have, for example, your native machine, it is faster than my machine. So you will see the video that is very fast. So in that case, you realize uh, soon after uh, you play it that uh, there's something wrong with the timing. Uh, so this, in this case, we've got to manage this thing. So there are also other things we're going to manage later. Okay, so if you reached up to this point, uh, thank you very much. And uh, uh, if you didn't do it, please like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified about the next videos I'll be releasing. And uh, stay tuned for other things regarding multimedia, but also much, much, much more. Ciao. Ciao.